Hello and welcome to this Raven version 3 tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to perform a 0D thermochemical analysis of a composite material during its manufacturing cycle. This type of simulation can be used to analyze how the material properties of a composite material evolve and change while the resin cures. The simulation is performed at a point location, or what we call 0D which could represent any point in the composite material layout. To perform the simulation, I will select the basic simulation link in the task pane. This brings up the create new simulation dialog box. In this dialog box, I can name the simulation or leave the default automatic name, which is the name of the material used in the simulation. I then have to select a material from the pull down menu. I can select a fiber and resin composite material or a neat resin. I will select the composite material XL AS4-8552. Next I need to define the cure cycle. There are several options available to define the cure cycle, including using the manufacturer's recommended cure cycle, average, lower, or upper bound, sharing or copying a cycle from another simulation already performed, opening a previously saved cycle, creating a custom cycle, using a cycle from data such as thermocouple readings, and finally editing a, a selected cycle. For now I will select the average ma manufacturer's recommended cure cycle. This cycle includes a ramp to 110 C at 2 C per minute, a hold for 60 minutes, a ramp to 180 C at 2 C per minute, a hold for 120 minutes, and a cool to room temperature. I have now defined everything that I need to define to perform a 0D thermochemical analysis. I have selected a material to use and have defined a cure cycle in terms of temperature versus time. By clicking OK, Raven will run the analysis. By default, I am given a plot with two curves. The solid curve is the temperature versus time curve that I input. The dashed curve is the degree of cure, with its axis plotted on the right. The degree of cure is a value between 0 and 1 and is a measure of the progression of cure of the resin. I can also plot many other properties by right clicking and selecting new series. This brings up the create series dialog box. There are many features of this dialog box, but what we are interested in is adding a new y-axis data. If I pull down the y-axis menu, I can see a list of the available properties. The time and temperature values are the simulation inputs. All of the other values are the outputs of the simulation. So, for example, I can plot the resin modulus on axis number 3. This curve shows how the resin modulus evolves from a very low initial value, when it is liquid, through the transition during cure, and to its final cured value, which is just under 5 gigapascals. There are many powerful simulations that can be formed with Raven 0D thermochemical analysis. For example, you can use these tasks to compare the effect of two different cure cycles on a single material, or you could compare the effect of a single cure cycle on two distinct materials. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you have any further questions or interest in composite processing, please do not hesitate to contact us or visit our website at convergent.ca.